Hello everyone. Today we're going to be discussing Assyrian reliefs, which are a type of sculpture. Now these were really popular in ancient Mesopotamia, which would be current day Iran, Iraq, and Syria. Now there were two very popular things that they usually chose to sculpt, and those were palace reliefs, which usually told tales of the king, or the Lamassu. Now we'll get into those a little bit later. Um, right now let's discuss the palace reliefs. The palace reliefs were usually done in low relief, which is called bas relief. Now bas relief is basically when the sculpture is barely raised above the surface. They're still pretty close to the wall. And these usually told tales of whatever the king was doing, whether it was fighting or whether it was um, just other kingly pursuits that he had going on. And it was sort of like a comic strip. So it would go from left to right and there would be cuneiform written underneath it to tell you what was going on. Other things you would also see on these reliefs would be the tree of life and also what they ref would refer to as genies. These were usually either very decorative heads of men on bodies with wings or they would have animal heads, usually holding a cone and a basket and this was usually considered a, a blessing. So they were blessing the long life of the, of the king, or it could be blessing the fertility of the fields to make sure there's plenty of food. Uh, so usually something along those lines. Now as for the Lamassu, those were guardian figures. Those were usually done in a higher relief or alto relief. Now a higher relief would be something that extends at least halfway out of the wall, and sometimes they were even done in the round. Now, the Lamassu were usually the decorative head of a man with the body of either a bull or a lion and then wings of a bird. Um, they were considered guardians and set right outside of buildings, um, usually in like doorways or arches, and uh, you know they would guard things. So what we're going to do today is we're going to drew, draw something that is related to these reliefs for my younger children, um, probably ages four to seven, we're gonna be doing a flower. And for those who are eight and older, uh, we're going to be doing the head of an eagle. All of these are initially from some of the reliefs that I've seen. So grab a pencil, grab a paper, and I'll see you at the drawing board. Hello again, everyone. So this is going to be our first drawing, which is meant for our younger kids, probably ages about four to seven. Um, older kids are welcome to do this one too. It's entirely up to you. So the first shape we're gonna start with is we're going to do, it's almost, think of it like a banana. Like that. Next, you are going to do like a snail shell, sort of like a swirly in like that. And then you're gonna go around that. So it looks something like this. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Snail shell. Then up and around. Okay, next you're gonna be doing sort of a fan out with all of the petals. So we're gonna do one going this way. And just Draw them a little bit bigger each time when they go up and around. And then you can do one on this side. There you go. And then on the bottom, we are going to do sort of like a curly tailed stem. And there you go, there's your Assyrian flower. Now, if at any time this is a little too fast for you, make sure you pause the video and go back and do those steps. Um, also, something else that you can do is if you have Play-Doh or clay, you can always draw these images into them to create your own low relief sculptures. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the next picture for my older kids. All right, guys, so this is my drawing for ages eight and up. Uh, we're from one of the genie low reliefs. So what you're going to start with is you're going to do a circle, draw it lightly because you're going to be erasing this. Then you're going to be drawing a neck. Connect it like this. 
then we're going to draw in the beak. Um, you can just draw a simple beak like that if you like. I'm going to draw more of a curvy eagle type beak. Okay. Then I'm going to take my eraser. I'm just going to erase right in here so we don't see those lines anymore. And then he's going to need an eye. So we're going to put an eye in right up here. You can do it lightly and then just draw it in more. And maybe give him a little nose right there. And then I'm going to do just a little bit of decorative thing here on his beak. Because a lot of these serenity reliefs are all about the decorative. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to give him some decoration going down his head. Uh, what's very popular in a lot of these serenity reliefs is almost these things that look kind of like snail shells. So just little swirly things like this. And just do these all the way going down his head. And then we'll start also, let's go around here and do some more going this way. And then you can just fill in this area. And then right in here, we'll go in, and do some decorative feathers. Just do some lines in here. And I'm actually going to go in and fix his eye a little bit because he feels like he needs a little something right here, maybe a little reflection. Okay, next we're going to draw sort of like a feather headdress on him. So you're going to go up, draw this lightly, and we're going to go down because that's the shape it's going to be in. And then you go in and you're going to draw some feathers. And then you can just go and decorate those feathers a little bit like this. And then I'm going to go back and I'm just going to erase my guidelines. There you go. You have an Assyrian bird head or genie head, whichever you prefer to call it. Um, so feel free to go back. You can color this or you can carve it into clay or however you want to do it. Thank you again for joining me today. Um, I had a lot of fun showing you how to draw these pictures. I hope you had fun too. Uh, if you didn't like the way it came out today, keep practicing and have fun and stay creative. Thanks for watching.